Hi, I'm Xu Li Dong, and welcome to Shanghai, home to the World Expo 2010. You're tuned into TTV, Shanghai's official tourist TV channel. Stay tuned because in the next 30 minutes, we'll show you where to go and what to do, and just how awesome Shanghai is. But first, let's discover some of the exciting things you can experience even before stepping outside of the hotel. I'm in Yu Shanghai at the famous Yuan Gardens, a new conceptual venue that integrates the best of Chinese culture into a themed restaurant. As you can see behind me, the cast and crew are getting ready for tonight's performance. But more about Yu Shanghai later. Shanghai is an incredible city, and with the World Expo in progress, it's the city in the world to be at right now. But later in the show, we'll discover some more of the very best that Shanghai has to offer. I'm Xu Li Dong, and welcome back to Inside Shanghai. You're about to get an insider's look at how to make the most of your visit to Shanghai. Whether you are here for business or pleasure, Inside Shanghai gives you the inside info to the best dining, shopping, entertainment, and of course, the must-see attractions. Depending on where you are in Shanghai, it can look like a city from the past or a city from the future. Let's take a closer look. Historically, Shanghai is a unique city. Established as a trading base for several countries at the turn of the century, Shanghai was divided into several concessions. This gave old Shanghai a diverse style in its architecture. A fun and easy way to dip into Shanghai's history is to simply stroll the streets of the old concessions. Shanghai has designated many buildings as heritage architecture, with plaques in both English and Chinese that tell you everything about the building, from the date of construction to who designed it and what it was originally used for. With a skyline making you feel like you're glimpsing a city of the future, Shanghai has become a mecca for modern architects. Many of these new modern miracles of construction have observation levels and other exhibits for tourists. On a clear day, take a ride up to the top of the Pearl Tower, Jingmao Tower, or the new World Financial Center building for a stunning bird's eye view of Shanghai. To see a mixture of old and new Shanghai architecture, there is no better destination than Shintiandi. Shintiandi, as a recreation born out of the sprawls of Shikerman Housing, which is the architectural symbol of Shanghai in the early 20th century. Shanghai Shintendi is a place to unwind and relax after a long day. A window to the past and the future, to China and the world. Shanghai Shintendi's Shikerman attraction was created by converting residential blocks into a multifunctional dining, retail, and entertainment center, flowing with restaurants, boutiques, cafes, and bars, all of an international standard. With infinite details that exude the casual elegance of modern city living, Shanghai Shintendi is where yesterday meets tomorrow in Shanghai today. Bund 18, built in 1923 and located at the center of the Bund, was reopened to the public in 2004 with world-class luxury brands. On the first floor is Unique. Long known for offering the best of fashion from Asian designers, Sibilia Boutique Cafe offers freshly made Italian coffees, panini desserts, and the finest wine. Upstairs, find the 18 gallery space, which features fresh and amazing monthly art shows. Lounge 18, which brings a new concept to the lounge format by combining Shanghai's exclusive nightlife with the artistic opulence.
Shanghai may actually be the best city in the world for dining. Obviously, you're going to want to visit one of Shanghai's exceptional Chinese restaurants, be it Hunan, Sichuan, Cantonese, or Tibetan, whatever is your favorite, it is available somewhere here in Shanghai. And when it comes to international cuisines, such as French, Italian, or Brazilian, again, Shanghai is second to none, offering some of the most incredible food in the world. So let's start checking out some of the very best. Lagrange is situated in a charming old house on picturesque and tree-lined Jululu in the former French concession. Our chef insists on using only the finest, freshest ingredients available. Our homemade bread is freshly baked daily in the cozy bakery shop Le Boulangerie. Graffiti is a contemporary bistro-style French restaurant with graffiti art motifs. has become a favorite and ideal spot for friends gathering and private functions. The Salaya serves home-style French cuisine in a simple and authentic setting, reminiscent of a typical bistro in southern France. As a new conceptual restaurant, Yu Shanghai weaves the best of Shanghainese culture into its themed restaurants and theater restaurants. We're trying to do a show with very different with the traditional one. Designs of multimedia effect, audio, surround sound effect, martial art, dance, music, and acrobat. We also including the interactive with the audience. You can see the whole show is with video. This is not 